How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. Hemingway spherical kit, spherical turning tool. Another part. This was the uh, mounting piece uh, for the, let's see what it's called here. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Alright, number five. This is the sidearm that we had made earlier. This mounts onto the what's called the body. Oops. Dump those screws out. That goes on here. Now I, I kind of skipped by the step of attaching it and just went right into making the uh, or getting the bushings in and, and such. So we need to mount that on there still. And you know, drill and tap the holes. And then we're going to take this, and this is a shaft. We'll we'll get the shaft turned. We just need to turn down up. We need to face off the ends. So it's pretty not very much. Turn this down on one end. And then we're going to put it in here and lock it in place with the center hole from the from this. And we're going to face off the end of the body. so that I, uh, we're going to be holding it by the shaft and face off the end of the body and that's going to make everything concentric uh, uh, the face of this or I should say make it perpendicular to the uh, line of the shaft because this piece is going to get mounted on the end so that's, uh, that's what they want you to do that's what we're going to do Let's go uh, get this done. So I'm lined up here halfway across. I just used the edge finder uh, for the ends and the width and to get the center. We'll put the center hole in, then seven eighths over, another hole, seven eighths over, another hole, number 19 tap drill. Then we'll tap it. So bozo check looks good. I'm just gonna drill all these all the way through the one side, right through the, the bushing and everything. Little power tap. There we go, got that part, the side arm, uh, I think it is called, the side arm uh, attached. And uh, one, uh, one of the other videos, uh, I think on the rotary broach, somebody asked me how I got the burrs off on the inside of a bore. I tell you, a triangle scraper is one of the simplest, easiest tools. Just make it from a triangle file. They're already hardened, grind and sharpen. Put a handle on. I've had this one forever, my whole life. Um, 
I got it from my father and it's my grandfather actually made this one and you can see that the file are serious so that's kind of nice for cleaning up your fingernails right there anyway uh, this thing is uh, just wonderful for reaching in and doing like a little bearing scraper and you can just scrape those burrs uh, right on off so this is all checked uh, on and checked and what I did is I put it on the surface plate checked here this is within a few actually a few tenths of being parallel with this side and I just aligned this so this is straight uh, parallel with the sides but anyway this is uh, it probably should have been lined more with the bore but the, the sides are so square I did measure against the bore and we're only about one and a half thousandths off so it's it's going to be plenty for this plenty tall good tolerance for this so we're now we're going to uh, this uh, let me see here fits a little better than there we go so this is the shaft uh, this is a simple part all we got to do is face the ends one end we're going to drill and tap a hole six millimeter hole and the other end we're going to turn down to a half an inch for five eighths of an inch so this is a quick easy part uh, that we'll do here well you don't have to turn this, uh, the shaft at all it's a piece of drill rod and it's uh, fairly consistent in size and uh, here's the drawing for the part it's part number 15 right here here it says ground rod and <laughs> Uh, so we're going to drill and tap the hole and and then later I guess we file a little flat spot on it for our uh, grub screw and we turn the end. cap follower and we're going to use that here for the lathe uh, viewer sent that in very nice of them thank you with that tap follower three quarter inch and uh, that's really nice for on the lathe and it gives me a nice little nice reach from the tailstock that thing is a about nine inches long I'm just going to turn that around and we're going to turn this down face and turn it down I've got the shaft in here with that half inch turned down. I'm going to slip the body on. Then I'm taking a piece of little piece of aluminum welding rod, eighth inch welding rod, dropping that in the hole.
Clamping that on. So that's solid on the shaft. And we're going to take a facing cut on here. flip it over and do it on the other end. Okay, just to show, show you how far we are along here. Sidearms mounted on the body. The body's been faced. The shaft is fitted and complete as far as the hole goes. There's a flat that's going to go on here when we position things in the final assembly. So that's all there. The um, this is the head is partially done. Uh, I know we have some more boring to do. We have uh, a circular slot to make and we have the slide to make still. This is going to end up going on here. Uh, that shaft will mount into it. Uh, it comes into it. And that's going to go on there. So that's uh, we're moving right along here. <laughs> 